Hello, everyone. How are you doing tonight? Tonight, I want to talk about how to spot false, inaccurate, purposefully misleading bullshit narratives regarding why you came here and why you were in this world to begin with. Especially so if you have experienced a tormented and tortured life from physical torture all the way through to every other variation of torture you can think of. But also in the cases of having even experienced minor inconveniences throughout life, however minor they may have been. You did not choose to have any kind of torture or torment imposed on you. And anyone or anything or any creature that tells you that you did choose to have those things imposed on yourself is a lying sack of shit. Whether they are supposedly some angelic being or some demonic entity or some other character, new age charlatan, whoever it may be, doesn't matter. Whoever is telling you that, guru, etc., guru, 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 whatever. Whoever the bullshitter is, the bullshit is the same. Any kind of you consented to come here narrative, specifically in regards to you consented to have tormenting experiences, is coming from a very malevolent, diabolical narrative source. Okay? The sentient stream behind that narrative is very fucking vile and very fucking malevolent. All right? Period. That's a false teaching, and it's a vile teaching that's very fucking cruel and vindictive as well. No, you didn't choose this. You didn't choose to be tormented or exposed to agonizing pains. You did not. Because that's not what you choose. Think about it. Think about the logic right, right here to what they're saying and suggesting. When you choose anything, what do you choose? Think about it. Or if you're experiencing the sensation of thinking you have a choice, because obviously reality is hard determined. When you're experiencing having a choice, right, as a sensational experience, what are you choosing? You're choosing that which is going to pleasure you and pleasure those around you. That's what you are choosing. If your hand is forced to do something against your will or you're pressured into something, well, you're not choosing to be pressured into something. You're you're forced to make choices against your will. That's not what you're choosing though. You're choosing, you would rather be able to just decide things without being forced to decide things. Obviously, you know, you're going to choose to eat ice cream or eat good tasting food versus eating a pile of sewage. That's going to taste terrible. I mean, you're choosing what's going to pleasure you is the point. Okay. And the only reason or way you would ever choose sewage is if somehow sewage was pleasing to you. But the point remains the same. You're only ever choosing what is pleasing to you, not what's tormenting to you. Okay. So <clears throat> that's what I'm saying. So therefore they're telling you that you, ch you're choosing. Torment is what you choose. Basically that what that narrative is saying to you is torment is what you're choosing. That's not what you choose, though. What you choose is never torment. You, Whenever you're choosing anything, you're choosing something you desire, something you want. No sentience ever desires or wants actual torture. We're not talking about BDSM dungeon fetish stuff. That stuff is stuff people desire. You're desiring to experience those specific sensations. You're not desiring to actually, literally be tortured against your will. No, what you're, cho what you're experiencing is you're wanting to be whipped that way. You're wanting to have that sensation on your rear end or whatever the, the sting sensation is. Those are the sensations you're wanting to have, but you're not wanting to be literally tortured to death. Okay. Big fucking difference. <clears throat> and even then, the only reason people choose things that are quote unquote, otherwise painful is because they're getting a certain variation of pleasure from those things, but you're not choosing to be tortured against your will. 
Okay. You're not choosing to have things imposed on you against your will. BDSM is having things uh, happen to you according to your will, not against your will. Okay. So what that narrative is teaching you is that you're choosing to have things happen to you torturously against your will is what it's teaching you. But that's not what you choose. That's not what any sentience ever fucking chooses. You're not capable of choosing that as a sentient being. So that right there is your proof that they're lying to you. Okay? And you have to be dumber than a box of fucking rocks to not register how that's a lie. It's li The lie is literally built into the sentence they're telling you. Okay? By definition, what they're telling you is a lie by definition. <laughs> they're telling you that an apple is an orange. More specifically, they're telling you that a pile of rotten hair on the ground is a voluptuous, sweet-tasting treat. They're lying to you. Okay? So, when they're called out for being liars, that's what's happening. Because they're lying to you. That's what they're doing. Okay? That's what's going on. So take note of that. Like anywhere you look in the world, whether it's a religious narrative, a secular narrative, a philosophical narrative, any fucking narrative that tells you that you chose or you consented to be tortured against your will, you chose to have things imposed on you against your will that were agonizing in nature, they're lying to you. They're just fucking lying to you, okay? And they're pieces of shit for doing so. They're dumbasses also, on top of that. And they're not very deep thinkers either. And if they are deep thinkers, they're just very nasty fucking slime buckets who are trying to dupe people. In the vast majority of cases, though, they're just fucking dumber than boxes of rocks. They don't know what they're fucking saying. They don't understand the implications of what they're saying. They're just parroting off some bullshit that they heard from somebody else, thinking it sounds deeply philosophical or whatever the fuck. It's a really terrible, bad, non-cope passed off as a cope. Okay? That's what it is. It's a variation of the mysterious ways bullshit okay the whole oh your child had their leg amputated and they're they've been screaming in agony for the next last 10 years plus from phantom pain from a limb that's not even there anymore oh because of god's mysterious ways that's why okay mysterious ways is why god never grew her limb back and and solved it. mysterious ways that's the reason why you weren't prevented from having that happen in the first place why your daughter didn't wasn't protected from that in the first place. Mysterious ways, right? So, which is also a lie. Mysterious ways is a lie, folks. It's not just an idea or a concept. A person who says that is lying to you. There's nothing mysterious about it. That's why it's a lie. Because it isn't mysterious. It's obvious why it fucking happens that way. Because reality is evil. That's why this reality as well as all others it's not mysterious <laughs> okay it isn't that so when somebody says it's mysterious they're lying to you there's no mystery to any of it there's no mystery at all to why sh your daughter's being tortured because reality is torturous it's built to be a torture chamber that's what it is that's why it's happening to her it's not mysterious that's why it's happening to the most innocent forms. There's nothing mysterious about it. So when someone says mysterious ways, they're lying to you. Just like when they say you consented to come here and have these torturous things imposed on you, they're lying to you. It's a lie. It's not an idea or a concept or they're just being misled. They're lying. Okay? So you should always call out that stuff for the lie that it is, you know? Don't cater to the bullshit and be like, oh, I respect other people's opinions. No, it's not an opinion. It's a lie. Okay. It's like, here's, here's what I'm saying. If you know for a fact how a car fucking operates, okay. And you know exactly what's going on with it. And you know, okay, the engine's making a bunch of fucking terrible noises. It's clunking. It's because there's no fucking engine oil in it. And then you go up front and you're like, here, look. The engine oil is drained out. There's no fucking engine oil in it. 
this is why the engine's about to fucking exp- explode, or more specifically, the engine's about to just burn itself up, start smoking. And that's exactly what happens. And there's also no, it's just mysterious. It's it's mysterious why this is happening to the engine. It's it's a mystery why the engine burns up. Well, no, it's not a mystery. It's the metal grinds against metal and that creates a bunch of fucking heat and the heat melts the fucking parts. That's what's happening. It's not a mystery. <laughs> so you're lying to be, it's like if, if there's something there's, if there's a mechanical thing that's understood and obviously going on and you're going to go up here and tell somebody it's a mystery why it's happening, then you're lying to them because it's not a fucking mystery. Okay. And if you're going to be an arrogant asshole and try to tell the mechanic and try to act like you're smarter than him and being like, no, it's, it's not, it can't be the engine oil. It, ha- it has to be a mystery after he shows you, Hey, there's no engine oil left in it. And there's no, it's, it's a mystery. It's a mystery. There's no way that can be right. It's just a mystery. I'm, you know, then you're just dumber than a box of fucking rocks, man. And you're an arrogant prick too, for being that way, you know? And I give that example because there's examples in real life very similar to that, where people will go out of their way to ignore what you know for a fact is going on, facts that you're aware of vividly. Okay, you know exactly why something's happening, and they're just ignoring what you're saying to them. This is why it's going on. There's no goddamn mystery to it. This is what the mechanics are of this fucking thing, goddammit. <laughs> You know, and they're just like, no, it's Mr. It's got to be something else. What, what what could it be? What could it be? I just told you 10 fucking times what it is. You fucking idiot. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> you know, that's what the religious world is like, man. It's like that. It's like you repeat the same thing. You know why things are going on. It's obvious why things are happening. And then they just keep going on and on. No, no, it, it can't be that. It has to be some other reason. Even though you meticulously lay out what the fucking reason is for things going on, you know? And it's so blatantly fucking obvious when you understand how things actually work. Specifically, the amputee issue. It's literally not in our genetic makeup to be able to grow limbs back. That's why. That's why their limbs aren't growing back. (laughs) But it is in oxalotl salamanders, etc. You feel me? That has zero to do with prayer or anything like this. It, prayer has nothing to do with it. never did have anything to do with it. Oxalotl salamanders never pray ever. And they just have all their internal organs and limbs grow back. Because it's in their genetics, for fuck's sake. So, you know, I'm so tired of seeing these fucking variations of this narrative and there's always variations of it too, but it's always, it's always the same bullshit. I have a major bullshit detector towards it. It's like they'll anything at all, folks. I don't even fucking care what the context is, what philosophy, what ideology, anywhere you see it, that you consented to have these torturous experiences imposed on you. You consented to suffering this and that and the other. No, 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 no. Uh, uh-uh. uh, no, that's evidently, blatantly evidently false and I've just proven it to you it's like an oxymoronic statement itself okay but so many fucking ideologies and concepts say shit like that and it's just parroted and repeated so if that's their basic premise for the rest of what they're talking about the rest of what they're talking about is various degrees of bullshit also so if, if anybody's main root spiel is that, okay, you consented to have these experiences to learn a lesson or this or that or whatever the fuck. That's number one. That's a terrible way to learn lessons, by the way, torture and shit like that. That's not how you actually learn things. When you're going into a classroom to learn stuff, you're learning how to prevent those things entirely from happening in the first fucking place. You're not going to be like, okay, let's dive into being tortured first and then learn why we shouldn't be tortured afterwards. Like, that's really fucking dumb. No, you go to the classroom, you're like, okay, let's learn how to ensure we never get tortured in the first place, and let's learn how to guarantee that never happens. Not, let's dive into torture and be exposed to torture and then figure it out after the fact. No. (laughs) That's not how this works, okay? 
obviously, yes, you can learn things in spite of things being imposed on, but it's, you're not going to purposefully go into a situation. That's not going to be how you go into the learning situation. You're not going to be like, okay, let's dive into having torture imposed on us. And therefore, after the fact, learn after it's imposed on us. No, you go into the situation. Okay, let's ensure that we learn no matter what and avoid being tortured as much as possible. And that's what you're doing. Like, so you can learn in spite of being tortured and you can learn from those situations in spite. of. But it's not because of that, that you're fucking learning stuff. That's that's what I'm trying to say. Okay, that's not the mechanism that's teaching you something. What's teaching you is your understanding independent of that. All right. You don't need to directly be tortured to understand why you need to avoid torture. It's very obvious. Okay. It's very common sense. You don't need to have your penis physically cut off to understand why you need to avoid having that sensation happen to you. Okay. It's very fucking obvious. So... (laughs) And it's actually an insult, like especially people who promote this idea that you're this soul be from beyond this world and stuff. Think about how insulting that is to you as this soul. Like th- they're basically making your soul out to be like so insanely fucking stupid and sadistic and, and just masochistic of a thing from the get go that it would be that insanely masochistic or dumb or sadistic to impose arbitrary tortures onto itself against its will from other sentiences. Like, what the fuck? How much of an insult to a soul or a being is that? To claim that a being is that insanely fucking stupid. To put itself into that kind of a fucking thing. To put itself into this kind of a fucking hellscape. Think about it, for fuck's sake. What an insult. To you, as a being, for fuck's sake, you know? It shows how much of a rotbag perspective they have towards the value of your actual self, your actual beingness, right? So this is how you detect bullshit. This is how you can tell if something is false from the get-go. If there's anything at all in their narrative that teaches you or says to you that you consented to being here or appearing here or having these torches, or that you needed to have this happen to you. Either variation, Okay. They're lying to you, and they're sadistic, malevolent motherfuckers for saying so. All right? Period. Full stop, no exceptions. And that way, if you know that that's the basis, you can take everything else they're saying with a gigantic fucking grain of salt. Because that big, massive bullshit red alert is always blinking in your brain, rightfully so, towards what they're saying. Because if their basic, if their base premise is wrong then nothing else they're saying or claiming or talking about should be taken seriously either because they haven't even got their base premise correct. So obviously the other things that they're talking about or claiming are false, evidently and blatantly, verifiably false, because their basis is wrong, is provably incorrect. Okay? So there you have it, folks. Please take note of that and please never, ever, ever buy into or fall into the trap of thinking you consented to having anything imposed on you against your will ever. No, you didn't. No, you wouldn't. And no, you are not now. And no, you never will in the future either. Obviously. Okay. So with that, I hope you have an absolutely wonderful night and I will talk to you soon. Have a good one.